Hi everyone, welcome back to the Guidewell Insights Lounge. My name is Kate Warnock and I'm here today with Jim Fields. Jim, welcome to the interview. Thank you, Kate. Jim is the Head of Health Services, Health and Life Science Practice for Oliver Wyman and we're here today at the Health Innovation Summit. Jim, I had a couple questions for you specific to your background. I know that you head up the uh, legal or legislative Tell me your, your, your focus. <laughs> I, I lead our government services. Government area. services. So certainly you know plenty about the Affordable Care Act and the, the post state of affairs uh, since, since that law became uh, effect, effective. I was wondering, can you tell us what impact has the legislation had so far? Sure. I, besides bringing coverage to millions of people, I think the, the biggest impacts have been really around the increased role and influence of government, and then second, around the increase of the government market, or the, I'm sorry, the consumer market. Um, if you look over the last 15 years, uh, the amount of government business within a health plan's uh, total book of business has increased fourfold. Uh, and so what you're seeing is increased compliance requirements, increased um, uh, product mandates that are being dictated on them, uh, but also recognition that this is the new normal around what it's going to take to succeed within healthcare is uh, being able to serve a government sponsored uh, individual. Um, and a lot of that is also with the growth of consumer. And so with ACA and the individual market, you've seen um, consumers being the purchasers of healthcare also playing a more active role as they consume healthcare in the market. And I think you're seeing that drive an increase in how providers react to that in serving direct consumer needs and um, aligning to what creates a positive consumer experience such that it's more like traditional retail markets. Absolutely. So, so many market forces at play. We have consumerism, we have precision medicine, we have so many things. What, is your, what are your predictions for 2016 and beyond for the health oh. industry? Well, um, if you're talking ACA specifically, price increases. Uh, that'll be the easy one. Um, oh. But I think- <laughs> Painful, right? <laughs> it is, but that's a function of just the market catching up to finding its equilibrium around price. Right. Once that gets itself worked out, I think you're gonna see focus around a couple things. Consumer experience. How do I create a positive experience that um, causes consumers to stay loyal, uh, to engage with you in ways that create the health benefits and the health uh, behaviors that you want. And then uh, lastly around, how do you manage the care of those individuals? I've, we've got them in our book of business. Uh, we're creating an experience that causes them to want to stay. How do I find ways that help us effectively manage the cost and the ultimate uh, health outcomes that they, that they achieve? Um, so specifically, I think you're going to see those things, and then I think you're also going to see a lot of consolidation. Um, we're already seeing we're certainly that. seeing it, aren't we? We are. Right. Uh, obviously, the mega deals are beginning to play out right now. I think you'll see others that follow them. Uh, the big drivers of that uh, efficiency is a part of it, and how you operate within a lower margin environment. I think the other big driver of it is access to capabilities. How do you serve the needs of the specialized population? Right. And how do you access growth? How do we go into markets that previously we were um, not as good at serving and I can buy a company that gives me uh, greater credibility to enter that market? Understood. Well, I have one more yeah. question for you, Jim. Why is it that Oliver Wyman decided to host its second annual Innovation Summit here in Chicago? Well, besides being a great city, um, Chicago is actually a place where a lot of healthcare activity is happening. Uh, from one of the largest payers in the country to a terrific provider environment with academic medical centers, and you're seeing the shift to risk play out uh, quite aggressively within uh, Chicago. And then, as many of our immersion tours highlighted, there's a great uh, scene of innovators in healthcare in Chicago with Sandbox and Matter and Avia. Uh, and so to see the innovation that's coming out, some of it disruptive, which is exciting, right. and some of it things that the traditional players will capitalize on and, and leverage throughout the industry. Well, we're so excited to hear more from our attendees. I know that they're going to be sharing so much of the thought leadership that you've brought them here to, to speak to. So thank you for your time, Jim. Thank My you, name Kate. is Kate Warnock. We look forward to seeing you again soon.